Okay, welcome to Baron's Fit. We're going to do a bit of a stretch session. So, um, grab yourself a mat and a cushion if you need to for your knees. And we're just going to start off. Cat cow, toes tuck under. So, exhaling and inhaling. Make sure these movements are as big as you can get them. Just give me two more. So exhale cat. Inhale cat. Last one. Exhale cat. Inhale, cow. Okay, bringing it back to neutral. We're going to work on the hips and waist. So you're going to hip hitch. So you're going to contract one side, bring it to center, contract on the other side. So you're just shortening one side of the body as you exhale and then to the other side. Squeezing this waist, warming up everything. Okay, toes tuck under. And all we're going to do is walk the hands back. So waking up the knees and the ankles, dropping the bottom down. And then walking forwards, keeping the tummy tight so keep the knees off the ground, hands are spread. And again, walk it back, stretch out the feet and the toes. and walking forwards. Again, push back. And anyone that knows me knows I struggle to get my heels down in this position, but if you can, try and get flat feet. So really push back. Okay, walking forwards. And again, rolling it back. Just give me two more. Then we're going to start opening up the shoulders. Last one. Okay, so from here, we're going to walk it back. Hopefully you don't go off camera. So walking it back and then walking forwards, opening the knees, come through the centre and bring it back. So working on these ankles, walk it back. So last time we went around that way, this time we're coming around this way, taking it back behind. Walking forwards, up, and those knees coming round. And again, taking it back, drop the heels down. Walking forwards. Taking it back. Last one. Okay, and we're going to just push back. Again, working on really trying to flex out the toes and then Push into your downward facing dog. And again, dropping down and pushing back. Taking it down, pushing back. And just pedal the heels for me in your downward facing dog. So stretching out the legs. Okay, from here, we're going to try and take opposite hand to opposite foot. So we're going to try and press and touch, rock forwards, press and touch, rock forwards. So 
So get the tummy involved. Just give me one more each side. Well done, and dropping the knees down. So we're going to tuck the toes under and just take it back to one side. And then round to the other side. So all the time we're trying to do this posterior tilt. So bum's nice and tight on the heels, posterior tilt. Take both hands back. Okay, from here we're just going to squeeze the bottom and lift and release it. So nice inhale and as you exhale, squeezing and lifting, make sure you're drawing the tummy in, pressing with the heel of the hands and then starting to try and squeeze the shoulder blades together so you should feel a stretch down the front of the body back of the body working. Last one. Well done and release. Okay, we're going to take our knees wide, stretching the inner thighs. And just some gentle rocks, just trying to warm up the muscles. So big toes are together, weights back on the heels, okay hands are coming down, go tuck the toes under and press back and again taking the knees down, bring them together in a thigh stretch. So opening up the feet. So that takes into the hip flexors, toes to under, press back, and taking it down, knees together, try and slide the knees apart. And again, release, push the ankles wide, tuck the toes under, press back, take it down. Spread the knees. Last one. Taking them wide, tuck under, press back. And take it down. And we're gonna come up to your high kneeling. So we're gonna slide one leg out to the side. Hand comes down, just give me a stretch. Keep squeezing the bottom, pushing through. Okay, release. Coming over to the other side. So stretching and pushing the hip up to the ceiling. Start to try and activate the bottom. Lengthening the tummy. Well done and releasing, coming back round to the front. So we're going to tuck our toes under, pressing back into downward facing dog. So nice inhale. As we exhale, pressing back. And we're going to take one leg high. So taking one leg up. And all we're going to do is retch, just kicking that leg up. And as we push back, feeling that stretch, if you're the same as me, it's going to be in your right leg. So push the heel down as you push that leg up and back. Just 
just two more. Well done. And then we're going to change to the other side. So right leg high, pushing into that left heel. It's all about the standing leg stretch. Keeping the tummy in, really trying to feel that connection, pushing from the heel of the hands back into the back of the body. Well done, and taking it down. Okay, we're coming back into our high kneel. And we're just going to take one hand over and then pulling it back the other way. So working the obliques and stretching the back at the same time. Go add the other arm. it down back into that stretch and then we're going to lift the leg okay bringing the elbow and the knee together and extending back into your stretch and again elbow and knee together back into that stretch give me two more Well done, then we're going to change to the other side. Stretch it out for me. I'm just going to lift and lower. So becoming aware of the waist, really trying to feel how these muscles work in a pair. Extending the arms. Okay, now we're going to lift this leg and work on pulling together. Really enjoy that stretch as you lengthen. Well done and releasing. So we're going to come round, coming into your high plank. We're going to take one leg forward and just work on the twist. I'm going to twist away from you, just adding a little bit of pressure onto the inside knee, pushing the knee away. So twisting round as much as I can and the arm's going to mirror that back leg. Release it. Change in sides, exactly the same. Again, start off just applying a little bit of pressure. Try and keep the big toe down. So you're going to try and feel it in this hip. And then you're going to rotate out the way, so turning. And you're trying to push the arm back so it mirrors that back leg. So shoulder blades are together. Keep trying to push and twist. Well done, releasing, changing to the other side, going straight back into that stretch and then this back foot you're going to turn as though you're doing a side plank. So you're going to start to, you can drop the knee if that's easiest and then you're going to roll the foot round so you're trying to come into a side plank with that bottom foot.
releasing, rolling back, taking the leg back, again, foot comes forwards, we're going to twist, you can drop that foot back if that's easiest, straight leg, we're going to turn onto the side of the foot, as though we're coming in side plank, it's lucky on the floor, and then this is what we're going to do on the other side, we're going to just start to drop the hip down. So trying to push that hip down. So again, feeling it in the oblique, perhaps feeling it in this hip. If your foot's slipping like mine is, you can keep hold of it. Well done, releasing, taking it back. Okay, one more time each side. Now you know what we're doing. So we're going to take the foot halfway up, turning the foot slightly out. And then you're going to twist and we're going to slide that leg away, trying to drop the hip down. Well done, releasing, bringing it back onto the other side. So, foot's all the way up, we're going to pull it back slightly, turn the foot out. The straight leg, we're going to turn into a side plank, and then we're going to push it away, trying to slide the hip down. Well done, releasing and bringing it back. Okay, so, <laughs> the mat isn't quite long enough. Okay, so we're gonna come into your plank. Foot comes forward, we're gonna slide into a side plank. And then we're gonna try and stack this top leg on top. So nice inhale. Taking it over into your side plank, push the hip up, stretching over, bringing it back, top leg steps forwards, roll the hip down, and pressing up, and rotate back, taking it back into high plank. Now to do the other side. Foot comes forwards, slightly turned out. We're going to roll onto a side. You can drop the hip down. Pressing up in side plank. So stack on the side of the foot. Nice inhale, nice and strong. And stretch. my concentration, keeping my balance, keep squeezing that oblique, bring it back, top leg steps over, again slide that back leg away, drop the hip down, and pushing up and rotating and taking it back, well done, drop the knees down, Go step one foot forward. Slide into a nice deep hip flexor stretch. Go stretch the hands forward. And then bringing the elbows down. Done releasing, taking the leg back onto the other side, so bring it forwards, slide the other leg back, 
A stretch forward, just to practice that hanging off the hips. Dropping the elbows down if you can. Releasing, bring the legs back, coming to lay down on the floor. I'm just go take heel to bottom. And releasing, changing to the other side. Releasing and then pulling both heels to the bottom. They go resist with the arms, but try and push with the legs. Well done, release. Hands come down. Up dog. Rolling down. Downward facing dog for the last time. So pushing up. Get your feet into a good position. And stretch out the legs again. So as I always say, you're trying to push your bottom nice and high to the ceiling and then holding it there. Let's take some nice deep breaths just to finish with. Well done. And we're all done for today. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.